Well, what you doing, Miss Tilly? We got a, we got a visitor. Yeah, she's always loyal. There's Moo Cow over there. She is feeling good. She got up. She was full of it this morning. Full of it. Running all over. Three days on CDB oil. That's usually the magic number. Is day three. And when they start feeling better. Anyway. An update on the... Uh, let's see. We're at about $1,000 earned. For Furry Tails Rescue. Kind of disappointing. But... We still have eight days left. We can at least match last year's donation of 1500 Do you mind, Rooster, whoever's back there? I don't know whose rooster that is. It ain't mine. Mine keeps good hours. Don't. <laughs> it's, the, it's the sun in your eyes. Yeah. All right. I mentioned on the other channel yesterday, the podcast channel, not all of you watched that. Uh, I am going to be starting another channel. Don't unsubscribe yet. Hear me out. This channel will be about doing laser engravings, doing other things, woodworking. Uh, most of it will take place in the shop. But here's the kicker. It isn't going to be... I had some comments on that channel. Oh, I don't watch laser engraving channels. I'm, go, I'm, I'm not going to watch it. Don't be one of them. Because it ain't going to just be that. What I intend to do is have a channel. A kind of an interaction channel. I would like to start making memorial plaques for dogs, or they don't have to be deceased. If you want a picture of your dog, or your cat, or your snake, or your hamster, or your guinea pig, I don't care what you got, get me pictures, get me video clips, get me their story. How did you get them? My nose itches, guys. What is the funny things they do? What is the funniest thing they've done? And as I am engraving whatever it is I'm making for that particular creature, I'm going to tell their story. And not only will you get a memorial or that picture of your, your animal, you'll get the story as kind of an added bonus, a memorial, video memorial. You'll see me making it. You'll hear me telling the story, and I think that would be cool. I gotta shut it off. Got people coming up on a four wheeler. All right, that's what happens when you live in a small community. A lot of lucky loos. Oh well. For instance, you just lost your dog. We'll just use Waldo, like I lost Waldo. I'm going to, you're going to send me a series of pictures. They have to be good photos to get the best quality laser engraving. And I'll do my part in, 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 in editing that and, you know, trying to make it look its best. And I'll start the project. And as the project starts, it's not going to be where I'm just teaching. I'm not going to be a teaching channel. I'm just going to be doing projects. I begin telling the story of your dog, your cat, your pet lizard, your pet spider. And that is the theme of that video, is that one animal. I think people would love that because the homesteading thing is dead. It's boring. I have not watched all, The only homesteading channel I watch is Red Poppy Ranch because he actually knows how to do things, you know. He moved out there and built it, what he has from nothing. And he knows how to do stuff, and he does it by himself. I never intended to be... Well, it started out as a homestead channel. And I just, I just you know, it's just a dying niche. I don't like them anyway. And I don't want to do that. It's just difficult. I, my, I'm well established here. So it's hard for me to come up with content other than tearing things down and fixing them again, 
it was just not much content for me. However, doing lasers and doing things that I know how to do, you know, not saying I know how to do lasers, but I, the woodworking part, you know, it could be birdhouses. Anything I'm making in there, we're going to have a kind of a story with it. It's not just going to be doing the work and showing you the end result. And I think that would be a hit. If not, I don't really care because I'm not doing this. I'm not relying on YouTube like other people are for an income. I don't need it. Uh, I just do it for fun. Now, that doesn't mean the back up there, Chuck. Doesn't mean I'm shutting this channel down. We'll still keep this channel. Just not going to post as often. Maybe twice, three times a month. Most channels don't post any more than that. So nothing here will change. But I'm going to focus mainly on that channel. Uh, and if it don't work, it don't work. But I'm just going to do it anyway because it's, you know, it's what I want to be doing. Is, you know, spending my retirement years doing fun things. Not digging ditches and filming it. Uh, people aren't interested in that stuff, man. And if you are, get with the times. Yeah. I just, I, you know, that's the niche. And here's a big problem. When I changed my channel names, yes, some of you told me, that just screwed up my channel. Because now you go to search Washtaw Mountain Living, you're lucky if anything comes up. But if you, hurt, if you enter Dogman Homestead, this channel comes up. And ever since I changed the name, the views have not, they were, they were getting good views. And then I changed the names. I did a swap. And it's screwed up in search. So I do not get the views on this channel anymore, which I don't care. But, you know. <coughs> I'll have to edit out that cough. I bet I didn't. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. Uh, on the other channel, I got a poll with some name ideas. I like Wood and Wolf or Wolf and Wood or something. I don't know, man. But I'm going to make about five videos initially. This, you probably won't see this channel until December. I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe when I do announce it. It probably won't be till December sometime. Uh, I want to make four or five videos to put on there. I'll use my own dogs like Waldo, Lulu, Wally. As I'm doing this, you'll get an example of what's going on because right now, well, I don't have anybody's dogs, pictures. And if I do your memorial on video, you get that for free. I'm also going to be doing dog collars. You've seen these collars that my dogs wear. Well, I can do that with a laser machine. I can go get the dog collars, the blanks, and put it on my machine and engrave your name, your dog's name, your town, your phone number, these are the best, I've done a video on these collars, the best collars you can buy, and they're not expensive. I could probably offer that for $15 a collar, you know, with shipping and all that, and it's the only collar you're ever going to need. You know, they're, these girls have worn, worn the same collars, you know, they're only a couple of years, but they'll last for years and years. And if you need another one, we'll do another one. I also do collars with memorials on them, like I got one with Lucy. I better just start walking. You are getting bored. That's a mess, isn't it? But things like that, and that's what I'm going to do. Nobody's doing that on YouTube right now. Yes, there's laser channels out there. They're more of a how-to. I'm going to teach you how to do this. I'm not teaching anybody squat. You know, I may show you what I'm doing, but I'm never going to be a teaching channel. I'm just going to make the product and it's going to be a lot about dogs you're still going to see this channel you're going to see the podcast channel that is not changing at all that's going to remain the same however there may only be two three videos a week on the podcast channel that's fine that's not a hard thing to do i just sit down i start filming and that's pretty simple it takes a few people off sometimes, but actually the podcast channel is growing a whole lot faster than this channel. You know, it seems every video I put out on this channel, I'm losing two or three subscribers and then I gain them back from shorts. Well, those people that 
are subscribing from the shorts don't necessarily watch the videos. So you haven't really gained anything. Let's go see what these, these pooches are doing. So let me know what you think. And like I said, it's probably going to be December before I get anything ready to launch. But I don't want to do homesteading crap anymore. It's way overdone. There's too many people doing it. I'm not the young couple from the city building a homestead, obviously. It's not a niche that old people do. It's just not. Nobody cares to watch old people. They want to see the young people. And that ain't me. Oh, we got Waddles. See, he's always standing in the doorway there. Doesn't know what he wants to do. Look how nice it is over here. I was going to get them a bale of straw, but it's just, it's going to be 90 degrees today. It ain't ready for it. This breed of chicken does not lay eggs. They, they might lay two months out of the year. So you don't need it. They don't nest. They don't get in the nesting boxes. The only time they do that is when they are laying. That's generally, oh, February, March. You're going to get eggs out of these guys. Other than that, yeah, they don't lay. You know, these are game birds. They're not, they're not your domestic chickens. Waddles, he could care less about anything. He's just loving life. Ain't you, Waddles? We should come in there and sit with you, boy. I wonder what would happen. I don't know. He doesn't get petted enough. And there's Miss Lily. Ooh, yeah. She's uh, still doing her night thing. She, it's been about, what's it been, 15 days since we lost the boy. She's doing okay. See, we got him up there. Now, that was my very first one that I did. I've got a few ideas about how to do... I think the one I'm going to do for Waldo is I'm going to take... If you use that light wood, it really comes up out good. If you use the dark cedar... Now, I haven't tried to print a portrait on cedar yet, but it's going to have to be sanded. The darker the wood, the darker the image is going to be, and that's a sappy wood. But I think if I use something like that, and I would probably put it on a plywood back and then put a plexiglass in front of it, water seal it, uh, make it watertight, I think that would make a nice looking marker. And so I'm going to experiment with all different kinds. There'll be different varieties. And basically, if you want one for your dog, a lot of people live in the city and they're not allowed to bury their, their pets, but they would like to have a memorial. You could either hang it on your wall, you could hang it, put it, lay it on the ground, depending on what it's from. I could make it. You send me the photos, I'd make it up. Uh, maybe what you want it to say. Uh, you were a good dog, you know. And any other information you want. And then I'll have different styles. Uh, also, I'd like to do some plaques that you could screw on, you know, attach to a doghouse, have the dog's name. It's going to be dog related, but not saying everything will be. And cats, you, you know, I'll do all animal related things. And, and it could be a cat. I am, oh, I'm going to say this. Shh, cover your ears, Lily. I do love cats too. <coughs> uh, I said, Lily. I said, would you like a doormat too? Okay, that's what I said. Yes. You got selective hearing. I don't know what you think you, that I said. So let me know. If I get unsubscribers, well, they didn't like my channel anyway, but I'm not shutting this channel down. I'm not shutting the podcast channel down. I'm starting a third one, which will be my main focus main focus so it isn't going to be that really that hard i know people are watching this they want to know what the kitchen remodel is going to look like when i'm done i will have that on this channel uh but my main focus and and the new channel is going to be probably one video per week all of them will be probably and this one probably maybe two three a month podcast three a week 
somewhere like that just whatever I can fit in but I want to take my time editing that one and this one I could take more time doing that make a, a much better video because I really don't spend a lot of time editing my videos I basically throw them in the editor take each clip cut out what I don't want in there add music if it needs music and that's it but I will take more time I I am capable of making a pretty awesome video if I was to take my time and do it but I just you know, I haven't done that very much uh, and during Dogtober, you know, I, I didn't have anything for today because I just got back from Fort Smith. I had to go to Aldi's. Uh, now I got to bring two coolers with me because I'm shopping for these guys, getting them meat. It's about another, it's about another 40 bucks a week, which is what I was spending on canned food. So it really isn't any more just to feed them the way I'm, I'm eating. And I can start seeing the benefit. Well, Rooster, she's picky. She won't eat half the stuff I'm making. So I got I to gotta work with her, find something she likes. She is picky, man. With this one, you'll eat anything Daddy cooks, won't you? Yeah, I got some broccoli in there. I got turkey. Yeah, we got some ground turkey, some ground beef. And, and chicken livers. We got chicken. You're doing your quivering. Why do you do that? <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what you think. But I'm getting away from the homestead pretty much. Uh, it's... I don't watch the homestead channels, man. You guys probably may, but I don't like doing it. Because I'm not a homesteader. I'm just an old dude living rural. On grid. Because even if... I look at it this way, man. I'm going to take advantage of the grid while it's here. When the grid goes down, I got some things that will keep me going, you know. But eventually, even solar, how long do you think those panels last? They don't last that long. They're going to get broken. The batteries don't have a shelf life. They don't last that long. So eventually, if that happened, everybody's off grid. So I'm going to enjoy what's given to me while it's here. I never claim to be off-grid or any of that nonsense. Even though the shop's pretty much off-grid. Yeah, we can call it off-grid Waldo's Workings. I don't know. Not doing that. I ain't going to put his name. The rescue I worked for that I ran in town was called Bubba's Rescue. Okay? And Bubba was a dog of the founder's son. And his name was Bubba. So he named the, the, the rescue Bubba's Rescue. Every time I'd answer the phone, Bubba's Rescue. Is this Bubba? No, ma'am. it's There is no Bubba. Bubba's a dog. Well, I'm calling Bubba's Rescue. You Bubba? No, I'm not Bubba. Okay, Bubba is a dog. What do you want? Well, I'm looking for Bubba. I must have the wrong number. So, we're not going to have a name. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails. I go out. Or are you going to sit in here like an old lady? What do you want to do? You were outside, and then I went to town. You came in, but now you don't want to go back out.